You want me to pull the truck up? You need a uh, box cutter, honey. I got some good cardboard now. Yeah. Wow, pretty. Good old Skippy came in handy today. Folks, this is a uh, Wood Max 7600. Um, I did lots and lots of research on the ones out there, the ones that's made, uh, the power, the weight, and uh, this is the one I chose. The company was great to work with, and uh, I can't wait to get it hooked up on the tractor. I'm just hoping the old tractor is strong enough to do this. Uh, if not, my wife will have to save up more money. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> okay. What do you think? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've got this unboxed as much as I can before I wanted to show you. All basically it was just a wooden frame. And I'm gonna take off the two straps that's holding the parts, lay them out, and start putting this thing together. Um, I went to the hardware store this morning, and a guy in there that works on hydraulics said, don't use Teflon tape, just use tape law, Teflon paste. So I got a little tube of it for some of the fittings, uh, hydraulic fittings. Anyway, here we go.
morning guys next morning and uh going to uh add fluid to this thing now i think i got the tractor uh prepped enough that i can get it hooked up and i got a few more stabilizer bars coming and i'll get them on later but i just want to get it hooked up and get it in the barn so that uh, i don't have to worry about it out here so i'm going to add some fluid now hydraulic fluid Next step is to back the tractor up here and hook up. Okay guys, I'm worn out, but it's all hooked up, ready to go, and I got a couple stabilizer bars coming in for the back, right in here. Other than that, it's done. Uh, I got it all greased. Now I can put it up and be happy, knowing that it's not going to be in the weather. So that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everyone watching, and we'll catch you later. <laughs>